tens of thousands of Seminole County homeowners could see their water bills jump as soon as this fall. Residents aren't happy about it, and now at 530, even some county leaders are ready to fight it. Well, this rate hike comes after the Public Service Commission approved it across the state. Channel 9's Angela Jacobs spoke to a county commissioner who now hopes to fight the plan by exploring the county's legal options. It's estimated nearly 22,000 customers in Seminole, Orange, and even Lake County will feel the pinch of higher rates. The bulk of them, though, right here in neighborhoods like this one in San Lando, where rates are expected to double with no guarantee of better service. Stamp of approval by the Public Service Commission to increase utilities incorporated of Florida water rates across Seminole County needs serious reassessment, says District 3 Commissioner Lee Constantine. You're taking 16 plus small systems, utility systems throughout the state of Florida and treating them as they're all the same. Earlier this week, we told you details of this proposal where San Lando customers would see a nearly 59% increase, Seminole customers 128% and Longwood wastewater customers 23%. It means out of 16 systems in UIF's portfolio, these three in Seminole County would be saddled with 70% of the overall increase. Today, Constantine called that unreasonable and discriminatory and a violation of state law. And when you are telling a utility in Seminole County that they are going to have to subsidize a utility in just say Pasco County. I think that's fairly discriminatory and especially when you're doubling their rates. The commissioner told us because this is new territory and challenging the Public Service Commission, he doesn't know all the legal options for the county, but plans to explore them all. Maybe it will be, hopefully it will be as simple as as saying, you know, in the courts, hey, this was unfairly discriminatory and then make them reevaluate it and everything. If these approved rates aren't changed, it's estimated they could take effect by October 1st. In Seminole County, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.